What up, YouTube? What up, human? World people? Greetings. Hope y'all five senses work. And your hands and your leg move and your heart beat. Good. You know it's a Star Wars and Star Trek thing. The board, the dark side. What? Who won it? <laughs> like my boys, the board. Resistance is fuel. I like my boys on my Star Wars. Join the dark side or die. Look. Final Fantasy VII Remake, Xbox One and PS4. You know, I you know Final Fantasy VII, the remake, should be on both Xbox One and PS4 because um, developers that way the developer can truly benefit from it and collect the div collect the uh, the income off of it. You know, so it can help them in the long run. You know, I think when you make games, sometimes when third-party company get start playing favoritism, and they start making games exclusively just for one console, they miss out on the opportunity to to make it for both, for for both for both for both console for both PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. So I th I do think um, Final Fantasy VII should be on Xbox One and PS4. You know, because you got you you got SquareSoft fans on Xbox, and you got SquareSoft fans on PS4. So why not make it for both? You know why not? Why not? Uh, um, why not let both both consoles enjoy the game? The game. Why not let both consoles enjoy the game since both consoles have people have people using them and playing them? You know. So why not make it for both? You know. That way it's better for for SquareSoft. You know. But I think you know. You know. I, I know PlayStation fan gonna be like, no. We want we want Final Fantasy 7 on PlayStation 4 only and started on PlayStation, not on Xbox. We have the we have to say so. <laughs> well, Squaresoft can be like, you know what? You know, we should put it on Xbox One. Like, who are you PlayStation fanboys to tell us what, what we can and can't do? <laughs> you know, so I think I think that would be good, but if they um if they go if they go that route. You know, the game the game looked promising. I hope they don't rush. I hope they don't rush it. You know, like I think they should make a complete game, make the entire game. The comp I think they should make a um a complete game. I don't know how if it's I don't know if it's breaking down into segments or whatever. But I think I just I think just like how they release it on the PS One, they should re-release it again. But, I mean, but with a, I mean with updated graphics or whatever. You know, so I do think um you know Final Fantasy VII remake. Should be on Xbox One. It should be on PlayStation 4. I do think Final Fantasy VII Remake should take advantage of the Xbox One, a uh, hard Xbox One X hardware. I think they should should go that route, you know, and um, stop playing um uh, favoritism, you know, with Sony. I get it. I get it. The whole you and Nintendo had a falling out between cartridge and CDs, and you got to find out that CDs were better. I get it, and. Sony saved you, I get it. But times have changed and people have grown grown up, not evolve. <laughs> people have grown so and people have different tastes and consoles, you know, so games like Final Fantasy, Dragon Quest, Secrets of Mana, uh what's another one? Uh, all the RPGs that you could think of, they should I mean they should be both on Xbox One or PS4. That way Squaresoft is reaping the, the benefits. From both versus just making it from making for one console, you know. But Sony Sony fans gonna be Sony fans, and they gonna be ticked, <laughs> and they ain't gonna like <laughs> they gonna like that Final Fantasy VII is on the Xbox One. But it's something they gonna have to accept, you know. In my opinion, it's something they gonna have to accept, you know. I think Squaresoft should definitely put that game on Xbox One, PS4, and if they wanna put it on PC, go ahead, do it, you know. <clears throat> Definitely, you know. If the Nintendo Wii U had eight cores, then sure, Nintendo get a copy too. But since Nintendo makes weak consoles, then they miss out on games like this, you know. So, yeah. Um, <clears throat> so I think. I mean, I, I know the game is going to be big. That's for sure. A lot of a lot of, a lot of the Final Fantasy fans are licking their chops for it, sitting <laughs> there patiently waiting, you know, count counting count counting the the days, the minutes, the seconds, the hours, the days, the weeks, the months, 
till till release date. They waiting for it. So yeah, um, you know they're looking forward to that game. You know, the game looked promising. You know, the game looks the game looks the game looks very promising, very very promising. So I think that game should be both on PS4 and Xbox One, and I do think that that game should also take advantage take advantage of the Xbox One X hardware and architecture. Yeah. I make it for both console, you know, so so they you know, so people so so people can be happy versus like making it making the game for one console and then the other console people with other console can't get to play it, you know. I think, you know, developers should just third party developers should start doing that, you know. When they make a game, release it on both consoles and not just not just one, you know. And no favoritism. Yeah, so um, definitely um, Final Fantasy still. Yeah, PS One and PS and no, no, PS Four and Xbox One, most definitely. I mean, I release the game. You know, so so both so both both so people that own that own the, the Xbox One or PS Four can enjoy it. That's my take on the whole thing. You know? um, like I said, the game is going to be promising. It's going to be big. It's going to be huge. And I know they're putting a lot of work into it. You know based on the picture shots that I've seen and everything looks looks very promising so we'll see um <clears throat> anyway nice yapping with y'all my name is C you know it's a Star Wars Star Star Trek thing the board the dark side I'm gone peace <laughs>